In this lesson, we're going to look at how you can solve systems of two by two, or rather two by two systems of equation by combination or elimination. As you can see here, we have a system of two by two, uh, two variables and two equations. That's what a two by two system is. And when we do elimination, we are looking to first eliminate one of the two variables. Now, we're going to do that by combining, that's why it's called combination elimination, combining the two systems together. You've got to make sure that your x's, your y's, and your numbers are lined up properly, and they are here. So what we need to do is get rid of either x or y by combining them. Well, we can't do that directly, but if I take this top equation and I multiply it by negative 2, like that, then what that's going to do is when I multiply it, I'll put it down here, I'm going to get negative 4x minus 10y and negative 38. I'm just multiplying negative 2 by each term in that original. And I'll go ahead and write the bottom equation just as it is. I didn't multiply it by anything, so it didn't change. So now I've got something I can combine. When I do that, it's just like adding negative 4x and positive 4x cancel. Negative 10 and plus 3 is negative 7y. And negative 38 and positive 24 is negative 14. Now I can just divide by negative 7. And y is equal to 2. So I've already solved for y. Now I need to go back up to one of the two original equations here at the top and substitute y in and I'll be able to find x. I'll just use the 2x plus 5y. And instead of writing y, I'm just going to put 2 right there. Equals 19. And I'll just solve that little equation. Move the 10 over, makes it negative. So that's positive 9 when I subtract 10 from 19. Divide by 2. And x is equal to 4.5 or 4.5 if you wanted to write it as a fraction. So my solution to this 2 by 2 system is 4.5, that's x, and 2 for y. 4.52. I could check those by plugging them back into the original equations. Doing 2 times 4.5, get 9, plus 10 is 19, that one checks and 4 times 4.5, which would be 18, plus 6, which is 24, 2 times 3, and they both check, and so this is a valid solution for that system. Let's try one more here. In this one, you see there's really nothing that I can take one of the equations and multiply by to eliminate another one. I can't take 6 in front of x and multiply to get 8, or 3 in front of y, so I really need to multiply both equations by something. And it can be two different things. And one of the ways we do this is I want to eliminate y here, for example. I just look at the numbers here and here. I will put the number that's on the bottom at the top and multiply by it. And then I will put the number, the 3 in this case, on the bottom and multiply by it. Now I need 1 to be positive and 1 to be negative. Right now they're both positive. So one of these, it didn't really matter which one, I'll choose the 3. I'm going to make negative, so I'll make sure I change the sign. So down here below, I'm going to do the multiplying. 5 times 8 is 40x. 5 times 3 is 15y. And 5 times 41 is 205. And then I'll do the same thing with negative 3. Negative 3 times 6, negative 18x. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15y, that's good, and negative 3 times 39 is negative 117, and now I can combine them. 40 minus 18 is going to leave me 22x, and here's my elimination, my x's, I mean my y's rather, are eliminated, the positive 15 cancels the negative 15, and the y's are now gone. And then I can just simply subtract 117 from 205. That gives me 88 positive. Divide by 2. 
a 22 rather so that those cancel and X is equal to 4 again I have part of my answer not my complete answer to get the Y value I need to substitute it in back up here at the top somewhere I'll just take the top equation doesn't matter could have used the second equation just as easily whichever one you prefer so 8 times 4 32 plus 3y equals 41 and I'm just going to solve the equation move the 32 over subtract it from 41 we get 9 here and divide by 3 and the y value on this one is equal to 3 so my solution for this system is 4 3 x is 4 y is 3 again I could substitute those in if I want to go back up here substitute in the first equation 8 times 4 is 32 plus 9 is 41 that one checks and then go to 6 6 times 4 is 24 plus 15 5 times 3 and that one is equal to 39 and that one checks so I know this is a valid solution for that system so that's the method called combination elimination that uh, gives us a way of eliminating one of the variables and then combining the two equations to find one of the solutions and then using that solution substituting back in uh, to find the other one I have several other videos on systems of equations I have one on solving by graphing one on solving by substitution and there's actually a video on solving three by three a little bit more complex systems uh, by algebraic methods also uh, if you want to use those or find those you can find them on my website at mymatheducation.com or you can go to my YouTube channel my math education and find it there too you'll also find other videos on algebra topics that you might be interested in thank you for watching this one and invite you to come back to watch other videos on other topics